One of Jacksonville's longest running cold cases comes to a close with a sentence of life in prison for Michael Haim for murdering his wife, Bonnie, nearly 30 years ago. The legal process, however, is not over. Just a few hours ago, we spoke with Haim's attorney who plans to file a notice of appeal within 30 days. News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris was in the courtroom from the sentencing and joins us with what's next for Haim. Janice. Michael Hames' attorney says that he is going to file that appeal with an attempt to get a new trial. But in the meantime, Haim will be moved from the Duval County Jail to the prison system to begin serving his life sentence. Two families have been divided for 26 years about Bonnie Haim's disappearance and death. A jury found Michael Haim guilty of murdering his wife, Bonnie Haim, and today a judge sentenced him to life in prison. I'm going to adjudicate you guilty of second degree murder and sentence you to a term of life imprisonment. Bonnie Haim's sister, Elizabeth Peake, talked to us afterwards. Peake wanted Michael to get at least 26 years in prison, the same time he's walked free since Bonnie's murder. What was your reaction or your first emotion when you heard that he was sentenced to life? Um, with life, we know that we don't have to live in fear anymore. No more bricks under the pillow. Aaron Frazier found his mother's remains buried in their family's backyard 21 years after she disappeared. Frazier told the court he lived in fear that his father would kill him too, so he slept with a brick for protection under his pillow. Now Bonnie's family says they want to move forward with the good memories. She was a very loving mother, um, very loving person. She enjoyed life. Um, and was always, always protecting Aaron. Though Bonnie is gone, her family believes they are now protected with Michael Haim sitting in prison for the rest of his life. And now the family will finally get the remains of Bonnie. They say they have been waiting for decades to give her her proper burial. In fact, they've waited 26 years. Reporting live at the Duval County Courthouse, Janice Harris, Channel 4 the local station. Janice, has Haim's attorney elaborated on why he wants to appeal? Yes, he has. In fact, when I talked to him on the phone earlier today, he said that he believes that there were critical errors that occurred during the trial, and he believes that will be enough to win an appeal. Mary? All right, Janice, Har Janice Harris reporting to us live from the courthouse. Thank you, Janice.